In the near future, the city of Neo San Francisco is on the cutting edge of a technological revolution. Both man and machine are advancing with incredible speed, but not everybody is pleased with this brave new world. At the edges of society, powerful corporations seek to exploit creative individuals, leading to greed, conflict, and danger. Read Only Memories is an adventure game where you take the role of a down-on-their-luck journalist living in a futuristic cyberpunk city. At the start of the game, you are befriended by a little robot who tells you that one of your old friends, his creator, has gone missing and that he needs your help to figure out what happened. From there, you'll set off to solve the mystery, gathering clues and solving puzzles along the way. Now, gameplay-wise, Read Only Memories has a very traditional adventure game setup. As the story plays out, you'll travel around the city visiting different locations. Each location has a number of interactable objects on screen. Whenever you select any of the objects, you'll have the option to examine it, interact with it, or attempt to pick it up and put it in your inventory. If you're selecting a character, you'll also have the option to chat with them, at which point the game will move into dialogue mode so that you can ask them questions and gain information. As the game progresses, new locations become unlocked, and occasionally you'll be asked to play short mini-games in order to solve puzzles. Now, right away you'll probably be able to tell that Read Only Memories has a very distinct style to it. It's got low resolution graphics, it's got a specific color palette, and oh yeah, it also has a very tiny screen, which is something unusual, but eh, I didn't mind it that much. It's a stylistic choice that really doesn't hurt the game in terms of interactivity. And speaking of style, Read Only Memories does a great job of utilizing its cyberpunk setting. You get to meet a lot of interesting characters, from hackers to cyborg detectives. There's a lot of interesting technology showcased, whether it's robotics or genetic augmentation. And on top of that, it's got a good soundtrack that really helps tie it all together and establish an overall tone for the game. Unfortunately, while the game might be great thematically, I found that narratively, it left something to be desired. This is a game where all the dialogue is a lot better than the actual story, and I suspect that the developers were more interested in coming up with all of these unique and different characters, but didn't take the time to actually weave them together into a cohesive plot. If I had to be specific with my complaint, it would be that even though the game sets up this cyberpunk noir mystery at the very beginning, the actual resolution of the game does not follow from that initial plot hook. In fact, a lot of the solutions to the game's problems rely on either techno wizardry, which is okay in small doses, or just simple plot convenience, which is a little more aggravating to try and stomach. A good example of this is early on you're informed about a political faction that focuses on human purity and is upset at the existence of all these new robots and cyborgs. Later on, when you need to investigate this faction, you do so with the convenience of a business card, which allows you to speak to one of their leaders immediately, without any sort of conflict or challenge. In retrospect, I realized that some of the disconnect might have been my own expectations, that Read Only Memories sets itself up and has the mechanics of an adventure game, but really winds up being more of a visual novel. Still, it is a charming little cyberpunk story by itself, and I would give Read Only Memories 2 out of 4 stars. I'd recommend it if you're in the mood for a science fiction storyline and you don't mind some very superficial adventure game mechanics. Alright, thanks for watching. Till next time. No half measures, no one way streets.